welcome to my Seed Jam video. I'm making a really, really dumb game for Seed Jam. Um, because why not? Uh, so my idea for the game is that you will be, you've set up your own version of Team C's and you're getting these donations and you get this money and you can spend this money on hiring more people to remove trash, on researching different robots and stuff to remove trash, or on advertising your version of Team C's and then getting more people to come and donate to it and then you can use that to remove more trash. So it's a really dumb game idea and I don't know how I'm actually going to make it because I'm not going to use a game engine. I would use C++ but unfortunately I'm on Linux so my C++ games are for Linux and I need to make it available for Windows for it to be allowed in CJAM. So um, yeah, I'm getting to work. Um, this is, uh, Team C's rip off. Now I guess I need, uh, I need divs. So this div ID equals money. What have I done? Um, money and then this div uh, id equals and then this one is trash uh, wait, no, uh, removed and then div so I you're going to have to see how much you can remove in a certain number of times. So time that's going to be there, and then I need one last one for div id equal. Oh god, id equals hired. Wait, no, I need one more. Um, div id equals ads. Great. So now I've got that set up. So the idea is that you can run these ads. And I need end lines in between these. So you can run these ads to get more people to donate, and then you can hire people with money. But you can also, uh, you can also, uh, robots. You also need to div id equals research. So research for all your research, every blink number of time amount of seconds, uh, you'll have a higher chance of removing extra trash using your research for new ways of removing trash. So basically that's how quick you can remove trash. So I'm going to actually add JavaScript now. So I need to get all these uh, things. Sublime Text has been glitching and not letting me press enter between tags like that, which is really annoying. Um, I'm going to say var data equals Okay, and I'm gonna say money document uh, get element by this would be so much easier if I were using um uh <laughs> if I were using uh jQuery, but I'm not using jQuery, so I need money removed, time hired, ads and research. So we're going to have removed hired ads what did I do? Moved, oh ads, so this needs to be money removed time then I need hired ads and uh, research okay so this is, oh god no never mind this is not set up um, removed time hired ad and research so then I need ver elapsed equals zero so now I need a function that I want to loop which is function tick and I want to loop this once per second so I want to say window dot set timeout tick 
um, and then 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second, and then each one of these. Oh wait, I need um, I need to so this to store the actual connections to the HTML. So I need to actually also have the um variables for it. So I'm going to say ver money equals zero, ver removed equals zero. Uh, then this is going to be very simple. So ver hired equals one. You start out with one person. Oops. Um, then we're going to say ver adds equals zero, and then ver what's oh uh, research equals zero. So for each of these, we're going to say money goes up by math dot round. So this way you will be able to get to zero money in a second. Math dot random, and so this is going to generate the amount of money you'll get every second. Math dot random, and then we want to do times uh times ads. So this way normally you'll not be getting very much money. So then we're going to say uh removed should go up by math dot round math dot this is just really not very efficient. I should use some sort of library that will do this quicker, but times hired. And this way the more people I hire the more I'll remove. Then I'll say I want okay. I'm going to say I also need a variable for um random. So this is going to be how much you get with research. This will be mm, oh god, what did I do? Uh this is really annoying. Math let's see, how will I do this? So I want math dot floor math dot random times research. So then I want this means that you need to start with uh what am I doing? Uh, this way you need to start with one research, otherwise you won't actually get anything out of that. So your first ad would, yeah. So that's right. <coughs> and then we want to say, um, uh, and then we want to say, so with the floor, then that way. If random, so this way occasionally you'll get more stuff, so if it's a random number between that, we'll start with a random number between 1 and 0, which will go down. So then, let's say, if times... So now we want to actually make it even more random, so we want research times, then we want math.floor, math.random, and then we want math.seal this time, which will make it round up. Seal math.random then times, we want the maximum to be 5, then if random is greater than 5, um, we want to say removed plus equals math.seal, so this way math.random times 5, which is nice, or no, we want times 15, and so now, now we have our research getting us stuff, then money, so we're getting money from our ads right now, so then, um, times ads, uh, money, we should also just get m one money per turn without the ads from people suddenly discovering it somehow. Um, then elapsed, which is our time elapsed, should go up by one, and we want, only want to have another frame if elapsed uh, is smaller than we only have one minute to play, okay? Uh, this is actually not necessary, but I want to add more code here. Then we have uh, hired. We can we so we now need to add buttons so that we can buy. Oh wait, we want to update all this stuff. So uh, data dot money uh, d 
dot text content uh, equals money. Oh god, that is going to take forever to do. So I'm just going to that could be removed time hired ads and research. So data dot removed time hired ads and research and now we should have there's probably a faster way to do this equals removed then we want to say equals elapsed equals hired equals ads and equals research what do I keep on doing um so now we want to add buttons so that I can actually buy stuff so I want to have button and I want to say ID equals higher uh, which we'll discuss higher helper yay um, slash button BR then I'm just going to copy and paste that a few times or oh, you know what there's a faster way to do that uh, that's not what I meant to do uh, great now I want to have add run add add and um research build robots that's sort of a weird concept but sometimes robots break and the more research you do the more bugs you fix the more trash they can get and so now we want to add on click for all of these so I'm going to have document dot get element by ID higher that's what it's called right uh, higher dot add event listener click now we want to add an anonymous function uh... hired plus plus I'm just going to copy that adds plus plus and research plus plus research... what am I doing? why? I, I am so bad at typing the word research I don't know why. There. That's easier. Now I want to say add, that's what it's called, right? Yeah, add. And I want to say adds plus plus. So now I want to say if uh, oi, 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 I'm used to coding in C++ where I have a different styling for my code. So what do we want to do if that's not true? I just want to say um, here I want to have an empty key element empty and that should be id equals game over and then I want to say document dot get element by id um uh what is it game over that shouldn't be capitalized I don't do the uh, game over dot text content plus equals um game over and then uh we should have we should also say I guess um yeah that's all we want to do people can reload I guess if they want to play again no I'm gonna add a play again button so I'll have uh, button ID equals restart restart okay now I wanna say um, this is a very simple sort of hack for uh, restarting something like this I can just say window dot location and that no location equals and that will reload the page and I think that's my entire game I haven't added any CSS yet I also need to go and actually find my file uh, for it 
it's actually in my tutorials folder for some reason. Uh, and open that, and we'll see if it actually works. So I can hire a helper, run ad, build robots, restarting. Okay, nothing's doing anything. What's my problem? Oh, I see the problem. I I, I never actually initiated the game. Hold on. There's no main error. Let me go into this. I want to say tick. My first tick will do that. And now I should have hire helper run ad. What? Something's wrong. Um. Missing that. Where's that problem? I hate debugging. Uh, where is that problem? Line 38. Let's find line 38. Very num. Oh, I'm missing one of those. Great to know that that's my only problem. Oh god, that doesn't look good. So I need to have. I need to fix something. I want to say equals money plus money and then equals removed um plus removed and then equals elapsed plus elapsed hired plus hired ads plus ads and robots and plus research so it's not gonna look very good until I add CSS but I'm not gonna do that in the actual video so this is my thing I'm removing that uh, and I'm running low on time so I'm going to oh wait I have a problem I forgot to make it cost money to do these things so I'm going to say money you can go into debt but if you go into debt I guess you lose here we'll say if uh, money is smaller than or equal to zero, then we want to do this, um, and we want to say else if. So if that's not true, we want to have another frame that means that, uh, or smaller than zero, it should start at zero, and we want to say um, plus equals You're in debt. You're in debt. Okay, so now we want to say money minus equals 50. It costs $50 to hire someone. No, it costs $10 to hire someone. It costs... Um, an ad should cost $15. No, also $10. And research should cost 20 No, no, no. $15. And yeah, that's going to be basically it. I'm going to add a bit of styling for it using CSS. Style. Um, slash style. Then I want to. So that sublime text doesn't glitch out. I have to do that. I want to say body. Background. Color should be yellow. Color green um and I'm going to keep everything aligned to the left but I want to say padding left should be 10% and font family should be sans serif this should look fine I guess oh that looks actually a lot better okay and yeah that's basically it this is my dumb game. Uh, I have enough money to hire a helper now. Hello, I just hired a helper. Oh, see, I have another helper. So now I'm removing more. Uh, but I have very little time. I want to run an ad now. So now I'm making more money. Okay. I'm going to run another ad. So now I'm making tons of money. Uh, and next time I want to build a robot. Yeah, I think robots are the best strategy. Oh, so build robots doesn't work right now. I'll fix that. But yeah, that's basically it for the video. And if you like the content, please subscribe.